Okay, it's just a quick tutorial. Um, I've been working on learning more about OBS and there's like a plethora of plugins out there for this thing. There's some pretty amazing stuff. And just OBS in general is amazing. It's Linux, Windows, and Mac. Um, but with those plugins, sometimes they don't always work for Windows or a Linux and Mac. So you're screwed. You can't, you just gotta figure it out. This one that I found was called the Lower Thirds Tool. I believe it's what it's called officially. And like, this is an amazing thing. When I, I have a hotkey set up for this, though when I hit the number one on my keyboard, I get the Lower Thirds. And that looks just damn cool. I, I think it adds a lot to a stream or a video you know, or, a, you know, just in studio effort. You know. So if I hit the number two, I have this one, right? So there's a way to set that up in a plugin, but it doesn't, it's not supposed to work in Linux unless you have Ubuntu Snap. So you have the Snap repository set up. I run Linux Mint. So I don't, I don't use that. I don't want Snap, it's proprietary. I use Mint, I like Mint, I want it to work in Mint. But the problem was, I couldn't get the damn thing to work in Mint. I just couldn't get it set up. So I sat here for a couple hours. Keep in mind, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a developer. I've been using uh, Linux since, what, uh, Red Hat and the first release of Linux Mandrake, the now defunct Linux Mandrake. Well, I guess it's become Open Mandrake, but... So I have some skills, but I don't have a lot. That's not my forte. So I was like, I have to figure out how to make this work. So I went through this a few times and I watched a couple videos and I want to show you, and I'll put the links in the description and stuff below, um, the video that I've been using. And it's this, this one right here. Um, the guy's name is Scott Fitcher. I want to make sure I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Mr. Fitcher has an amazing video on how to set this up and I followed it to the T but some things still weren't working but it wasn't Scott's fault this guy is great if you want to learn more about OBS and stuff you watch his videos so I tried it it wouldn't work all right so it just it just was irritating and he has another video here called animated lower thirds for OBS this tool is more powerful than you think again the link will be down in the description this is what actually kind of solved the problem for me, but uh, you know, Linux is a little different than Windows. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of walk you through this very briefly, and hopefully somebody else can make more sense of this than I am, but at least maybe this will help somebody because I, I, it took me a while to figure this out. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you, I downloaded the file and I'll put the address for the download. It's also in Scott's uh, video there, is what I did. Okay, so you can see my file browser here, right? So let me, all right. So you see my folder, Animated Lower Thirds. And I also have Animated, animated Lower Thirds Zip. I just extracted it. Now I put mine, even though he says not to, into downloads, OBS plugins. And this is where I just kind of download all my, my plugins. I did it because I'm not worried about de deleting it. If I deleting it, I delete it, I know how to reinstall it. So anyway, I downloaded it. So let's go into that, that folder, animated lower thirds, right? And this is what is extracted. These files right here are extracted. It's not a big deal. I don't worry about common. We're gonna use logos and this one right here, which is called lower thirds. Let's go ahead and go to lower thirds, right? So you have browser source and control panel and then the lower thirds hotkeys, okay? this we don't need to change anything in here we just need to know where these files are at right okay so in scott's video which i'm not going to repeat here he shows you how to install this stuff there is a difference in linux all right i left everything right here in my downloads you saw my naming convention all you do have to find all you have to do is find these files all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to open up my obs okay Give me a second, so let's open up OBS. Okay, so this is when you get the control panel installed, after you do what he says, you just follow those instructions. And maybe I'll make a more in-depth one, but right now maybe this will help somebody. So, you, you know, you add the source for it, um, lower thirds, which I have right here. You can see it right there. So I'm gonna open that up, right? See, this is my file location 
for my for my uh, browser source here, okay? And then I think it's tools, scripts. There's my lower thirds hotkey, right? That's in that file browser. Okay, let me open that back up, that file manager. And I'll move that up, please hold. Boom, right there. So you can see that right here. That's where those files are, okay? So I don't know how to figure out this stuff just yet. So anyway, you just have to point him to the right split, just like he does. But our, let's use this method if you like. I put it here. It was too complex. I know where the files are in Linux um, for the root system and then the user. I just put them here. It was real simple. So now I'm gonna slide this back over so it is not in our way so much. Highlight this window, slide it over. Okay, a couple of things. One, I couldn't get the fonts to work. I tried it his way, I'm not sure why. I can't change the fonts. Not a huge deal to me. I couldn't add the Google fonts. You're pretty much struck with one until I get it figured out or somebody else does. But I was able to make this work, okay? Because you see here, this is blue. If I turn this off, nothing works. Just like he says in the video. So I have this on. But when I turn it on for uh, this first lower third, now it works. Well, it wasn't working before. So what I want to do is I want to I can remember where this is at. Uh, right here. Show hide custom time settings. Okay. So I'm going to enlarge the, you know, when you hit the plus, then it expands the options. So my global times, I said just like his, 333. Three, three. Okay. I changed nothing in there. I left everything alone. Okay. So come down to your first lower third. Now this one says Toast of Entertainment, right? So nothing worked until I went in here and changed this. Once I did that, that started to work, but it would not work at any other time. So that second video that's in the link, watch that video because he explains that. This has to be on. This has to be set up. Okay, now the second problem, I'm not gonna go through the description of all these, this just sounds you change the font color and stuff, but his video is really good. The second thing that didn't work is I wanna choose an image, it will not open my file manager. It will not open my file manager, okay? So what I did is I went in, I'm gonna go back to the file manager here. Do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> What I had to do is the there's a logos folder. That's where those are stored. So I went in here and you have four, but they all look like this right here, where it says your logo here. See that? That's all you get. To me, it looks like it pre pre-installed with that stuff. It didn't, and I can't change it. So what I did is I went into logo one here and I used GIMP and I went out and did a search for the Google Play button and I used GIMP and used the logo one PNG as my template. And I just did that real quick. It just took a few seconds. And I did the same thing for subscribe. That one, it's transparency, it works. So that's how I made this work. It, it's a kind of a bother, but if you wanna use it, I, I guess this is what we have to do. So this is how I made this work. Okay, so just real quick, I wanna go back over this. When you download it, put it in a folder anywhere you know it. Don't worry about putting in something you're gonna delete because you're gonna install this, you're gonna remember how to install this. It's so easy. You're gonna follow his examples for installing this, you know, installing the script, installing the control panel, which is this right here. This is the control panel. You're gonna follow that and you're gonna be able to do this, just like this. And you see I'm activated in my control panel, right? So there they are. 
that's how I made this work. All right. So anybody using mints, um, Debian, Debian, however you want to say it, pop, you don't have to download snap. I mean, if you want to, you can't. Uh, Linux Mint has it disabled by default. You can en enable it. I don't recommend it. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole thing with, with, with the Ubuntu. But that's how I did it. And then, of course, you just change this stuff as, as you want it to. Now it's just toss up one. I don't know. It's a typo, man. It's a typo. Get over yourself. So I'll hit it again. And it still says, why am I doing that? Oh, I know why. I got to click out of that area. Click back over here. See? That, that it's really not that hard. So I hope that helps in some way. I'd like to make this simpler. I may walk through a whole installation, but that's just where I'm at and I hope it helps. Everybody thinks if you watch this, if you get something out of it, just like it, say, hey, say thank you, or piss off monkey, but whatever. That's it. That's how I made it work. Lower thirds tool, the two videos I'll have in the bottom, click on them, watch them, understand it, do your install. Good luck.